Hi there, my name is Alan and in January 2024, I have uploaded my 2024 setup video tour and that setup is great, amazing, I love it. But technically this video is literally just the same setup, but I've made some layout modifications, added some new stuff, changed some parts out and whatsoever. Now this video is separated into three chapters, the three main different stuff that I have changed that is going to affect most of the stuff that I'm doing. I want to talk about it and I'm bringing you with me. So let's talk about the first one. So this was the setup before. Actually, it's a little changed now. Different mic. I said a C920 from the last video, it was there. But then we got a puppy, so I had to put this up. This stack monitor, although great, they're not really aligned because there's a big gap. So it doesn't really look too well. And one of the people on my last video said that I should just turn that around but then that is not allowed too because of the mounting system that I use which is that and also this monitor has its mount right about in the bottom part not in the middle so I cannot just like turn it around to make it look cleaner so the idea now is to use this And this box is my old monitor. That though. So the real question now is does this monitor still work? Alright, let's test if the monitor works. Three so years in the box, plugged it in, straight to the power. Oh that still looks good. So honestly, it's working pretty good. The gap isn't that big anymore. It's just a little gap because the monitor is a little straight. And then the top part is, of course, heavily tilted going that so I can easily see what's happening. But then the third monitor, I'm still planning whether to put it to the left, put it to the right. This wall mounted stand will still be used. In the way, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna pull the table first and then pull it out. Hold one of the stand arm, put it right about here. And then put the Higvision camera in there, um, this one, and make it as kind of like an overhead camera, which is gonna be pretty sick. So, yeah. So far, cables are kind of going through. We got the black on black on black. We got the, of course, the two stack monitors, plus this. I have a right angle HDMI show, so that should be fixed and the cable should not be hanging like that all the time. But then I'm still thinking about the hand cam right here. But so far, everything going great. Okay, so the microphone's hooked, everything's mostly hooked. This is how the mass cable management is on the back, especially, but should not be seen. Anyway, uh, it kind of just hangs around for now because I'll be switching back into the Tane Q12 plus my f SL40 um, so that the cable management works better because right now I'm on a challenge switching to the Maple MMU S300 for about a month um, it's a condenser microphone that is super cheap but sounds crazy good so um, yeah I'll switch back to the f at some point for now I'll keep that and uh, yeah everything's mostly cable managed for the monitors, a good thing for me, I place the monitor to the left because it's not only for the layout itself. But if it is here, the wall is, you know, it's not really kind of like free feeling in a way. But also this monitor being to the left closer to the PC allows me to cover up some of the cables. So this is the setup right now. I know, I know, got the monitor. But one other thing is as you can see, my CPU is currently at 53 degrees currently, but the max recorded is 71.6 Celsius. Now, if you're gonna check the temperature right now, the actual temperature IRL 32, so that's the room temperature. And I'm working with this Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, which is 
an exceptional CPU cooler except for the fact that the hot air in the Philippines plus this case is not a good combo even with intake fans so what do we do well this is where this box comes in so let me unbox it real quick So this is what we got, the 240 ARGB Frozen from Segotep. Well, this is my first AIO cooler. And man, um, yeah, this is how it looks like in the box. Um, so far, I don't see no leaks whatsoever, which is really great. So we got everything, the two fans. We're gonna keep using those. We got the Segotep um, coolers or the rad, the pump, the bracket. And I do see a thermal paste, but I also do have my own thermal paste, so. All right, we're trying to load up Cinebench 2024. Um, let's just wait for it, I guess. We're gonna do some tests, of course. So I'm gonna run hardware info. You can clearly see right here, I did, I'm not even doing anything right now. All right, so this is what we got. We got 783 points down there especially against the m1 max of apple so i'm gonna remove that thing and replace it with this so i'm gonna do that right now okay we just pulled my cord up and then we got it So I just figured out, you can actually move this if you're using the H510 case. That just made things so much easier, look at that. So now flush in here, now all I gotta do is hook this up, and then hook that up, and then we for now. To insert the pump now, so the other one doesn't want to tie it up anymore. This is where we are currently at, and it's... ...is a fan header which is connected to another system. so messy here right now recording station that stop but it's not time pressing the bottom though i don't know if it's working and see no light okay 100 percent everything is working right now the system 3 says 5 5 rpm that is the hump working and also we've seen the two other um, RAD fans working and also the temperature is less than 50 or at least less than 60 as you can see It's working better than the Dark Rock Pro 4. Although you might say, but in basically most benchmarks, the Dark Rock Pro 4 will perform even better than the highest end AIOs. That is true, but not for my system. Why is that? Because I'm in a country, a tropical country that is super hot. And also my case is dog when it comes to the freaking air cooling because it doesn't have a proper intake. Basically, everything is closed off in this case. Great build quality still, the H510 from NZXT, but it's just not really the best case anymore, especially when it comes to airflow. Even this AIO can perform way, 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 way better if it's on a different case. My room's such a mess right now, but the third puzzle piece of the upgrade, it is here, boys. The RAM is now here, so let me unbox it. Six, 16 gig each and the CL16. So hopefully it all works well. There you go, that's the two RAM sticks. We're doing dual channel again, we're not gonna do four channels because, well, 
Two candles is just much safer overall. This is how this ram looks like, the ballistics ram, as you can see. It's white, crucial ballistics, micron, pretty great ram. I'm pretty trustable company, but hopefully the shop that I bought this from is also trustable. So now installed. I guess it's you know what? I'm so confident it would work. I'm gonna put on the case panel before I even turn it on. Okay, let's go. Turn it on. No more RGB for the RAM, but it's white. And we're doing the black, white, blue combo. Looking really cool actually. No posts yet. Change some stuff in the BIOS in my PC on like on up on up with some clips. So I hope okay, we in. Thank you. So there's the moment of truth. Is it running on 3600 or 3000 or something weird? We got the RAM. Okay, it's working. 32 gigs. Pressed it. Uh, uh, no, no. My RAM only runs at 3200 CL18, and I bought the Ballistics Crucial RAM CL16, 3600 MHz. So it's a little slower than what I actually wanted. But it's okay. Anyway, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this little kind of a story time view of some new upgrades into my pc and into the whole layout of the setup and i enjoyed filming this video and kind of doing a semi-vlog type actually of how everything went through with all that said though i'll be ending the video here thank you so much guys for watching leave a like share it with your friends comment that comment section below what do you think about the setup do you like the new layout more or do you like the old one do you have any questions about this pc that i have and the setup that i have and equipments that i have and if you haven't watched it, I went in depth to basically everything in my setup on the old setup tour. So you can just watch that and just think about the new stuff that I made in this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Future plans? Maybe to upgrade a GPU into at least a 6700 XT or